After choosing to land on a big sand ripple, Ingenuity faced a dicey takeoff from a notably sloped surface without help from a sensor needed to tell it which way is up. Check out how the little helicopter responded on this episode of Mars Guy. We last left Ingenuity parked on a mega ripple that its new hazard avoid software decided was preferable to the adjacent terrain. See episode 92. Here's a recent view from Perseverance spanning a portion of the Delta front with Ingenuity nearly 300 meters away. The maximum zoom from MassCam Z shows Ingenuity tilted at an angle about 15 degrees from vertical. Here's Mars Guy for scale. That tilt means the surface slope is greater than the 10 degree limit Ingenuity's landing gear was designed to handle, but clearly it survived. The next challenge it faced was to safely take off from the slope without the benefit of its inclinometer a sensor designed to tell the flight software how Ingenuity is oriented. It failed more than six months ago, a casualty of nightly internal temperature drops to minus 80 degrees C. These happened during the overnight shutdowns that were needed to conserve power during the long Martian winter, which Ingenuity was not designed for. Fortunately, its inertial measurement unit, which is used for navigation during flight, can estimate an initial attitude while parked, although with less accuracy than the inclinometer. Flight 39 would be a real test of this backup plan. Here's how it looked in the first navcam image right after takeoff. The four divots made by Ingenuity's feet are notably offset from the center of the image with little piles of sand scooped out on the downslope side. The next image, less than a half a second later, confirms that Ingenuity was drifting to the right, struggling to get vertical. Another half second, and it's shifted back slightly, then centered over its landing spot two seconds into the flight before overshooting a bit, and then coming back to center. Here's a simulation of how that might have looked to Perseverance. Vaguely alarming but Ingenuity recovered nicely from this challenging situation and went on to do a reconnaissance flight over a layer of rocks known as the Bacon Strip. It captured this color image that nicely displays the light-toned fracture bedrock with small sand ripples on top. Nearby terrain shows a larger and deeper set of angular fractures, probably an indication of minor seismic activity since the sediments were deposited and lithified. Ingenuity flew back to the same landing zone, hovering and shifting for about 8 seconds before its onboard navigation system decided to descend, with a landing right next to the previous divots. Just over a week later, Ingenuity made the 40th flight of its planned 5-flight technology demonstration, heading off 178 meters to the northwest. Only 12 images have been downlinked so far, but they show Ingenuity deciding to land between two small ripples rather than on one. Maybe it learned from its previous brush with death? Just visible through the late afternoon sunburst from the dusty lens, the color image shows the same piece of the bacon strip that Perseverance had sampled months before. Ingenuity landed about 50 meters away in its 27th airfield, Having cycled through all 26 letters of the alphabet since the start of the mission, this new airfield is dubbed Beta, a fitting moniker for the next chapter of its mission, which begins on the first airfield located on the Jezero Delta rather than the crater floor. Pushing limits indeed. <laughs>